What's going on, y'all? This feel good with feel good investing. I'm back again with a stock that I want to put on your radar. This stock had unusual amount of option volume. Let me bring up the option so you can see for self. You got 41,000 open entries, 54,000 uh, worth of activity for the day on the volume, option volume. So this stock is a, is a uranium stock. Uranium is considered a green energy. The current annual global consumption, I'm reading right here, the current annual global consumption is 190 million pounds. While the annual global mine produ production is 140 million pounds, resulting in a 50 million pound deficit. So we are using more uranium than we are actually producing on a global scale. So when the world found out about that, it kicked off a high interest spike in uranium. So I researched a couple of companies. This was the best one, in my opinion, for me with the unusual options. And they are one of the few companies that allow option trading. So I, I love options. I think a, a company that allows options will go a little bit further because of the activity that comes along with it. You can control a lot of shares and exercise your contract rights and so on and so on but anyway um it, it, even though this have like bad signals for me because it's the rsi that's overbought we got long elliot uh green bar waves right here but this <clears throat> the stoke momentum waves these two lines they stay at a high point at a high range for a long time it took a dip and it's do excuse me and it's doing the same thing so it can possibly do a repeat of what it just did by staying along this top bar right here which will only means that the momentum of this stock will continue to rise you might see a, f a few you know small red candles along the way but it's gonna continue to to rise so i bought options on this contract i mean on this stock and i bought a thousand shares um, i want to own these shares outside of just trading the options on them and the uranium energy sector is going to blow this year just for what i just showed you um you, of course uranium got its bad notations behind it like it's being uh, you know made for nuclear weapons and the nuclear waste that's produced from using uranium um those are the only like you know main two cons of the uranium energy sector and I, and also it's hard to get approval to mine for uranium in the u.s i don't know about the rest of the world but the u.s got very tight restrictions on companies mining for uranium even though a good amount of people rely on uranium in the country to uh for their electricity and utilities so with that being said i just want to bring this on your radar um i act like i'm a uranium guru now since i've been researching this sector for you know all of five to six days <laughs> but um i just feel like with the amount of attention with the amount of option activity and volume and what a country is going to on a clean energy standpoint everyone slept on uranium so want to get in you want to get in where you fit in before the boat is too heavy to float you hear me so while you're investing make sure you feel good while doing so and i'm out